Now we'll take a minute and talk about sphere shapes. We might think about spheres and try and think of what are some good applications for spheres. And I have a few and I'll mention them as I go along, but the main reason people like the sphere magnets is because, gee whiz, they're just fun. Okay? Sometimes we just get something because it's fun. And these are sphere magnets that make a nice little bracelet. These, the jewelry applications have been enormous on these and they've been very well received in using these magnets in a way of looking at jewelry. These are six millimeter and these are actually plated in 24 karat gold so that they're not just gold painted, they are gold plated and it works really well for that. We have some others that are like three millimeters in diameter. Now this is a very interesting one. These are coated in 24 karat gold. What we, the application for these was a customer came to us and said, I have a particular medical product, it's a therapy product, that is something you apply on your skin, and he said, what we need is a way to magnetically activate it. It turns out that the particular particles inside activated in the presence of a magnetic field. So he took one of these and dropped it in the bottle. Then when the customer shakes it, the magnet flows through the fluid and activates what the active ingredient is on it. So it works very well for things like that. There's a lot of small medical products that are using magnetics and this is a perfect size for doing something like that. We also have some that are even as small as 1.9 millimeters. That is an extremely small, thin magnet and some of the people that use these need very small filtration systems. Let's just say you had something that was a half inch in diameter and you wanted something that would help trap ferrous particles as they traveled through it. Using some of these magnets in line can help it tr attract all the particles out of the flow. Then we have these which have gotten a lot of popularity over the years in ways that people make different things with them. You can look for YouTube videos and find lots of them on people making different shapes with them. It took a long time for the manufacturers to catch up with the desire. Everybody wanted these in different colors when we first started carrying these about 12 or 13 years ago. But what they found was it was very hard to get a color to stick. And the manufacturers kept working until they came up with a coating that really sticks. So we can get them in many different colors. We've got greens, pinks, reds, blacks, all different colors now. Not just the gold plating or silver plating or black epoxy. But these were some that a lot of people used more as a toy application than they did as a industrial application. Now we get to the really powerful two inch diameter sphere magnet. And we've had a number of people that use these in research. They will come to us needing a very powerful magnetic field focused to a small area. And this magnet produces about an 8100 gal spot right on the north or the south pole. As opposed to a two inch cube, this is two inches in diameter, a two inch cube only produces about 6,000 gauss. So why the difference? Well, as the magnetic flux travels through the sphere, it focuses and concentrates on the one point, much like it does with the Earth, with the north and the south pole. And you see the lines of magnetism in the north pole going in or coming out, whichever way you want to look at it. It does the same thing here. So if you really needed an extremely intense field, this is the best way to do it at a point. And so that some of the applications that people have for looking at sphere magnets. And one of the things I wanted you to see is there's many different shapes and it all depends on what do you need to solve your problem.